Now, one of the oldest conflicts in Africa could be coming to an end. Senegalese officials and separatists from the southern province of Casamance have signed an agreement. They did so last night in neighboring Guinea-Bissau. Senegal's president, Macky Sall, as well as ECOWAS and the UN have welcomed the signing of the deal. Casamance is Senegal's southernmost region and is almost separated from the rest of the country by the tiny nation of Gambia. The rebel groups in Casamance were launched by a priest nearly 40 years ago, the start of a conflict that's now claimed thousands of lives. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now on the line by the African Affairs Analyst and publisher of Africa Briefing, John Ofe Answer. Good to see you, John. Uh, first of all, what is this conflict about and why has it been going on for so long? Actually, um, it's a low-level conflict that has been... Um raging uh, bet um, between the government of Senegal and um, the customers rebels called the MFDC, uh, you know, uh, since uh, 1982. It's all because the rebels are uh, asking for their independence because of the distinct, you know, difference between them and, you know, the Senegalese because be due to their colonial links with Portugal. In other words, um, the Casamance region is mainly, um, what do you call it, is mainly um, Christian, whereas the whole of um, Senegal, about 95%, is um, Muslim. So the, 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 the colonial links you know, with Portugal and the distinct um, religious and cultural differences you know, push the rebels to um, uh, fight for their uh, independence. So tell us about this latest deal that's just been signed. What could it mean for the people of Casamance and indeed for Senegal? Well, I mean, uh, look, um, war is is never good in any any situation, and conflict especially, is never good in any situation. Look, Casamance has a population of only one point five million compared to the whole of the rest of Senegal, which is about sixteen plus million. Okay, and customers also, the economy relies uh, mostly on, uh, mainly on uh, rice cultivation and uh, tourism. So, um, signing this peace deal to reintegrate customers into the greater Senegal, I mean, both were for both sides. Uh, and why, might I ask, is this happening now? Because so far, no Senegalese government has succeeded in pacifying relations with the rebellion in Casamance, despite signing several other peace agreements, I mean, none of which have held. Yes, I mean, uh, some agreements were signed previously. And after one such agreement, I think in the mid-2000s, um, um, a faction uh, broke away from the main MFDC group, right, and launched, uh, started launching attacks. But earlier this year, uh, but there was a law actually in the fighting. But earlier this year, the, those customers rebels launched an attack, you know, against uh, the uh, the Senegalese government, you know, well, forces. Okay, resulting in the loss of about two or three Senegalese soldiers. So this, you know, precipitated, you know, um, a retaliatory strike by the Sudanese army, right? That actually almost, you know, wiped out most of the rebels. So. The, in other words, the rebels you know, were hammered into uh, into submission. Hence, this um, latest agreement. Okay, I, I see what you're talking about. They were essentially forced into, to some extent, signing the agreement. But basically, the Senegalese authorities, in terms of the history of this conflict, which has been going on for nearly 40 years, the Senegalese authorities are accused of neglecting this region, which is why a separatist movement started in the 1980s, and thousands have died or been wounded since that time. Pick up the story from there, if you will. Yes. Um, when you know uh, uh, in the uh, in the early 1980s, when this um, uh, rebellion or this rebel uh, movement reared its um, ugly head, um, I mean, I mean, what you stated are some of the reasons you know um, they gave for 
um, starting that uh, rebellion or trying to succeed from uh, the main Senegalese uh, um, country. But look, every 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 uh, rebellion, every rebel activity cites such reasons, reasons of ne economic, social, and other neglects. So, but it is hard to actually um, 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 actually verify verify these claims, you know, by the uh, secessionist um, uh, movement. So, are you hopeful this time? I mean, you're, you're the publisher of Africa Briefing. You, you've looked at Casamance and you, you know what's going on there with Senegal and all the rest. You know the history of the deals that have been signed in the past, why they failed. Are you more hopeful this time? I'm hopeful because, uh, like I said earlier, um, the, 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 the fighting, the, the current fighting, you know, has been instigated by a faction that a rather a, a breakaway faction of the NFDC, right? And now that they've been um, coming into submission, I'm hoping. I'm, I, I, I mean, and during one of the previous um, agreements, the idea was to uh, integrate you know, those rebel fighters into the Senegalese para paramilitary forces, and also um, offer some sort of sort of restitution. You know to that region so i hope this um part of the deal the previous deal will be reactivated you know to foresaw any future um, uprisings john i want to thank you very much indeed uh, we appreciate your analysis john ofe answer is the african affairs analyst and publisher of africa briefing